Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I wanted to do not about bugs or reptiles or um, anything like that. I actually wanted to do a video on my plants, on my house plants to be specific. Um, also, before I go any further into this video, I just want to say if you hear crickets going in and out, I sincerely apologize. Honestly, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, if you are <laughs> an animal keeper, then you understand my struggle, I suppose, of when you get crickets and they chirp and they don't shut up until they're eaten. So I just fed everything back there and unfortunately I got some loud crickets. So sometimes they like stop, but I, you can probably hear that, it's very annoying. Hopefully it won't cause too much of like a distraction though from me talking, but it, it is annoying, but like, like I said, I can't do anything about it. So let's just try to ignore that and um, continue on with the video. So yeah, like I said, house plants. Um, yes, I made this channel because I love arachnids and I love reptiles and just everything under the sun, pretty much animal related. And um, I also love plants though. I'm a very big like houseplant junkie and like a garden junkie just in general. I've also had like very huge gardens and all kinds of like flower beds outdoors. I do that in the summertime, but it's winter now, so I can't really do that. But for like the past, well, I've like grown up uh, like taking care of houseplants and stuff. And I have a green thumb just because of my dad and my grandma who are also like really big into houseplants and stuff. But um, I've been doing this, like keeping houseplants for um, like six or seven years. Um, there, I think I got into plants actually before I, I guess, got into uh, animals, maybe, in a way. I don't know, like, my plant, I've always had animals, but like, I was really obsessed with plants um, back before, I guess I really got obsessed with animals or whatever. I just, I really love plants. And I have quite the number of them. And there's a possibility that I'll break this video up in two. I probably will, because I have a lot but I want to show them off because they're cute. Um, also, before I even like show you anything, some of the things I don't know the names for, <laughs> um, but most of the stuff I know the names for. So, I, I hate to be that like person that doesn't know what a plant is, but at some point I've known like what these plants were and I just, forgot what they were. I don't know, they were just like something I bought at like Lowe's and there was some random plant and I just forgot the name. But whatever, we're we're gonna get into that. So yeah. Um yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the first of many um that you, <laughs> that we're gonna be seeing of this specific plant because one, I've made like a billion cuttings from it but two, just because I think this is like the superior house plant next to like snake plants. They grow so well. This is a pothos, by the way. Pothos, pothos, I, I call it a pothos. But um, they have like other common names as well. I just know it is pothos. Um, I, this one, I have several pots and for some reason like this one is the one that thrives and um it's long now but it was way longer like so much longer i actually cut it a couple days ago um and made several um cuttings from it and i'm hoping to like root those um and i'm going to show you all of those i love propagating plants like taking cuttings and making them root i just think that's such a fun Thing to do and I've always been into it and I think Chipothos is a really good plant to do that with. I feel like nine times out of ten it's gonna root if you like cut it right you know. Um, 
they don't have to have super bright light. They also don't have to have super dark rooms. They do well. They're not like really picky, I find. Um, this pot I have in a window that's <laughs> like west facing, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure though. I'm not actually sure. Don't take my word for that. But it's like the window, it gets like indirect sunlight. We'll just go with that. It gets indirect sunlight. Um, pretty much all of these pots that I have get indirect sunlight. I don't put these straight in the window like I have my cactus or some of my other succulents just because, I mean, I, it, it won't kill. It definitely won't kill like these plants to put them in the window for sure. It won't kill them. But I just find like this one, I have it in a corner on my bookshelf and it just has taken over. I've had it for Oh, like maybe less than a year. I got it when it was smaller. Like I said, it was way bigger. I've cut it down several times. I hate, I used to hate cutting down my plants, but now, I mean, I really do see the necessity for it. It's so necessary to trim stuff back so that way you can make room for new growth, but also you can take cuttings and make more plants. And I like that. I, I think that's, whoa, I just saw a cricket fling itself in one of my enclosures <laughs> but um yeah so this is like i think probably my favorite plant that i have like i don't know out of all the plants that i have in my bedroom i think this one just does the best out of them all i also have some other pothos and i got it from a different place this pothos i bought from um a nursery and it grows so well and then I have two other pots of pothos, which are barely like pots now. I really cut them back because they weren't doing that good or as good as like this one was. And I got those from Lowe's. So I just, I don't know. Like this one I got from a nursery just grows so much better than the other two that I had. So I still have those pots, but I cut off like a lot of it to try and root it in water because like I said, they just weren't doing well but this one just thrives so yeah pothos is such a good plant if you don't have a green thumb and you kill a lot of plants well try to get a pothos i think for the most part i mean they're not like a really heavy maintenance plant you water it once a week maybe twice a week um depending on like how dry your soil gets um, over time and like whatnot, but you know, just like on average, I water mine like once or twice a week and they do pretty fine. Uh, like I said, indirect sunlight and yeah, I just, I love these plants. I think they're so pretty and they make really good, um, like for trailing, which always looks good in like any room. So yeah, this is my first pothos, first of many. Okay. Now, I'm about to show you many, many of my um, cuttings that I've taken from that same pothos plant that I just showed you. I'm not sure how many there are here, but there are several. Um, all of these except one were taken like within the past three days. Let me show you this one. Okay, so this one was taken many, many months ago. And I think this is such a cute way to root this plant or other plants, but I think this is like probably the easiest plant to root in water. And um, you can do a lot with this. Like for instance, see how cute that is? I just made that up today. I just took this cutting, but okay. These are actually two different plants. So this is from that pothos I just showed you. And this is from this pothos that I'm going to show you that wasn't doing that well. So I cut it and I'm gonna to try to see if I can root it in here and if it will thrive better in here. Sometimes that's just the better option for plants. Um, if they're not just doing well, just kind of break them apart and root each different part. Sometimes it just works better that way, um, as sad as it is for the plant or whatever. But so yeah, this was the one that has a lot of roots. That's why I wanted to show you this one first. Now, the thing about like rooting stuff in water is I've heard like once you've rooted it in water and it's been in water for so long, it can be a little bit hard to get it to thrive. If you move it to a different um, 
like if you put it in dirt it might shock it or whatever sometimes you know like if you've got it in water for a while just keep it in water it'll just do better in water so this one's been in water for a while I don't really have any intentions of moving it out of the water it's still relatively small but it has put out like a lot of growth like this entire like leaf right here was like new growths so yeah that's the first one and then <laughs> I have so many of them and then there's this one um these ones don't have roots yet that I'm going to show you they might have like a little bit of rootage like a tiny bit like very new because I just cut some of these like three days ago and then a couple others I just cut today so this is another one of that other one that was not doing so well. This is also one of the ones that I got from Lowe's. So I don't know. I, I do believe it's like a different pothos than this one. It looks different. So, um, and then I have this one, which is super cute. I love the look of putting them like in my little glass bottles. That looks so cute. And like the cool thing with these cuttings is like I said, you can put these in anything, as you can see, um, and you can totally be creative with it. And that's what I've done. There's another one. This is a bigger cutting. Um, there is like a trick, I think, to making your cuttings like thrive and actually survive and root. And I could totally make a little video on it, but to sum it up, you're gonna wanna cut it at like the third or fourth node and then cut down the bottom, the leaf on the last node on the bottom, cause that one probably won't make it anyways. Let me show you what I mean. Um, okay. See, like I cut this one, two, three, one, two, three, these nodes, I cut it at the third node. And then there was another leaf right here on the bottom. I cut that off because that's just not gonna live anyways. And now we have these two. And then now we have all this room right here for roots to grow so that's what's gonna happen and I'm gonna stick it in this water set it in a corner in some indirect sunlight area in my room and then bada boom it's gonna grow roots and yeah it's gonna look so cute so I'm almost forgetting oh yeah I don't even remember it's like which ones I've showed you here's another one super cute and another one super cute so as you can see I think that's like all the cuttings, maybe. I think I showed you this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's all my pothos cuttings that I just took um, from that other plant, minus that one that I've had for a while. So now I'm gonna show you my two other pothos plants that I have. Okay, so this is the other pothos that I was telling you about that is slightly miserable. Um, it was much fuller than this, but it just was not thriving. And pothos for the most part thrive, but I mean, every now and then you have a plant that just like isn't happy. So I cut it back pretty a lot. Um, and a, several of those cuttings were what you saw um, in the jars, but this is what I have left of this one. And I'm really hoping that I can get it to actually thrive um because i just love this plant and it's like one of my favorite plants and i just hate for any plant to die it's always like a challenge to see if you can restore it so that's what i'm gonna do it's got a couple leaves on it i i have hope for it because it's not like yellowed or anything and all these leaves look healthy but i don't know yeah so this is this one and the pot's cute yes i painted it myself so yeah now let me show you the other one this one's not as bad as that one, um, but it's still, to me, like, pathetic considering the other one that I have, like, the rate that, which, the rate at which the one that I showed you first grows, and the rate at which these grow, it's just, like, pathetic. It's just, like, pathetic. This is pothos, too. This is all pothos, is all that I've showed you so far, but, um, I promise I have other plants. But I just wanted to like, kind of knock this all out of the way because I have so much of it. So yeah, this is my other pot of it. And I'm hoping I can make it live. I cut several pieces of it off. I'm going to try to root it. But yeah, there's this one. 
So now I'm actually going to show you some other plants other than pothos. So yeah, prepare yourself. Okay, so the next plant is this one. And it's also <laughs> clearly very sparse looking, but um, uh, I had a little bit of trouble with it, but I think we're good now. And um, I've cut back clearly a lot of what would have been this plant, but yeah, this I believe is like a Vietnamese friendship plant. But I could be completely wrong. I bought it at Lowe's and that's what it said on the thing. And um, yeah, this is what I have of it. I have just a tiny little plant, but it's growing as you can see. So yeah, this is my Vietnamese friendship plant. Okay, so the next few plants that I'm going to show you are all the same, but different. Um, aloe. I love aloe so much. This is a newer plant that I just bought. And as you can see, it's very large. And I love that. Aloe gets pretty, pretty big if you let it grow. And I think it grows so fast. Um, I've cut several like little cuttings from several of my plants and stuck them in dirt and they have rooted so unbelievably fast and I will show you those in a moment but this is my newest aloe plant and I just think it's absolutely beautiful and yes I need to water it I just potted it so I wanted to give it a second but uh yeah what am I aloe okay so this is a little mixture pot and here we have one, two, three aloe cuttings that I've rooted, and this was just like one singular little like leaf or cutting or whatever, and I stuck it in the dirt, not really thinking it would do anything, but to my dismay, as you can see, it's even growing other babies, and these slightly bigger cuttings have also rooted themselves very nicely, and I also have a jade cutting right here as well. Um, it has roots and they are buried in the dirt. Oh, and this is another plant that I have no idea what the name of it is. No, actually, I think it's another type of aloe. I think this is some type of aloe. Um, I can't remember what kind, but it's some weird type of aloe too, I think. Uh, I hate that I don't remember the name, but if you know what it is, then you know, if you don't, you don't. This is just kind of like a little experimentation pot. I have several of these, so yeah. My little gnome guy. I love putting figurines in flower pots. So yeah, okay. And this is my other aloe cutting pot. It's very cute as you can see. I'm a cat lady. Um, this was three separate little like cuttings, like offshoots from one of my aloe plants. And I just cut them off and stuck them in the dirt and I'm sure they will root. I have no doubt that they won't. I think aloe roots really well for the most part. So yeah, those are my two aloe cuttings and now I'm gonna show you my other aloe plant. So this is my other aloe plant and it's dripping water cause it was in the process of being watered, but well, of draining, but I wanted to show it anyways. Um, this is the one that I took the cuttings off of, and this one grows really well, as you can see. It's very pretty. I love aloe. Aloe has many uses. It looks pretty, and it has, like, a lot of medicinal uses, so get yourself some aloe. It looks pretty in nearly every room. <laughs> Just get some. I love it. I love it. I love it. It loves sunlight, so give it sunlight and water, and it will grow big and tall. The next two pots I'm going to show you are, well, I guess just this next one is another, like, little mixture pot, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, these are both those leaves. I wanted to see if I can make these root. Um, I don't know if they will. Like, sometimes singular leaves aren't as good as about, 
as good about rooting as like several are like with the cuttings but I just wanted to experiment and see this one probably won't make it it's pretty yellow but these ones have been green for several days so we'll see if they don't they don't if they do that's cool I just wanted to experiment with it um and these are jade cuttings these are jade cuttings that have already started like forming pretty much their own plant um each at one point was one leaf that I plucked off of a mother plant and they grew roots and then the roots started growing their own individual plants. There are three of them here. Um, I love taking jade cuttings and rooting them. Uh, I love jade just in general. I think it's a really pretty plant. So yeah, that's what this little pot is. Just kind of like a little cutting pot. This next pot, I don't know what this succulent is. I don't know. Um, crucify me I'm sorry I don't I just bought it and I don't remember what it was I promise I actually know stuff about house plants I just sometimes like the succulent names and stuff it just kind of or the random little house plants at Lowe's just the names of them kind of go past you so this is just a little succulent I have it's cute it's like almost velvety which I really liked so yeah those are those two plants and now I'm gonna show you some more plants. The next two plants I'm gonna be showing you are bamboo. I love bamboo. I need to get more of it because you can do the same thing with bamboo that you do with the pothos cuttings and put them in bases with water. And I just love the way that looks. I just love the way it looks. It's lucky bamboo, I believe. I don't know, just bamboo. I love it. There's this one, and then I also have another one that's not as doing great as that other one, but I mean, it's alive. So <laughs> it's in a kombucha jar. So I just have that little sprig there. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna show you some more plants. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you are some of my hazardous plants, AKA cacti, which I have many of. Um, cacti might just be like my favorite type of plant arguably i started with cacti um they were the first like house plant that i like bought for myself and started taking care of and i actually have the first plant that i ever that was ever mine and i will show you that right now this is a very special cactus to me it's like six years old <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this thing is a hazard. It's just grown the way it wanted to. Now, the way that I have it sitting, like in the window, so that way this doesn't grow more downward, I'm afraid that, like, I have a lot of rocks on top of this because I'm afraid that it's growing so weird that it's gonna, like, uproot itself. So I don't want that to happen. So when it sits in the window, I have this cactus and it like rests on top of it. But yeah, this was like my first ever like plant and like that I, that was ever mine that really got me into the hobby like six years ago. It's grown out of control. I love cactus. This is another one that I've had for maybe about two years. I don't know the names of like any of these cactus and I'm so sorry, I just buy cute ones that I see. But yeah, this one's cool. Um, and then I have this one, which by the way, I've been a victim of way too many times. These hurt so bad when they get stuck in you, which happens quite frequently. Accidentally bumping into them when you're watering them and whatnot. They are quite the hazard, but I do love them. So yeah, I have this one and it's so cute. Oh, almost got me. <laughs> um, and then I have this one as well, which has just grown really cool little cluster of cacti and then i have this one which okay i know it's a no-no to put um uh, calculus or any succulents in a container without a drainage hole and i know that and i nearly never break that rule but this was like some classic like batman mug and i wanted to put a plant in it so i put a plant in it and it's been okay for it hasn't died yet so i have a cactus in here but i don't recommend putting cactus or succulents in or really 
Most plants need containers with drainage holes, but this one's doing pretty okay. So there's that one. And um, yeah, that concludes my cacti. Now I'm going to move on to some other plants. The next plant I'm gonna show you is <laughs> this little tiny guy, which, yeah, I, my grandmother gave this to me. It's a cutting from her spotter plant. I don't know if it's gonna live or not. Um, I had it on a shelf and I forgot about it being up there because they're new shelves. I'm not used to having plants on those shelves and it kind of um, wilted. So I watered it good yesterday. I'm hoping that it'll spruce back up, but this is a, this is a spotter plant cutting. So yeah. The next few plants that I'm going to be showing you are snake plants. And this one is so tall that I can't even show you the top of it. I, uh, <laughs> uh, this is like a little cutting, not really a cutting. This came from my bigger pot of very tall snake plant that I have in my living room. Um, I have a lot of snake plant in my living room, but I'm showing you the plants that are in my bedroom for right now. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is non variegated snake plant and uh, it's pretty tall. So this is my first snake plant and I have a couple more, so I will show you those. So I have this pot of snake plant which actually sits in a macrame holder in my window that my grandma made for me, which is so cool and awesome and beautiful. But um, yeah, this is just a really cute pot of it. And then I have this one. Now this is a variegated snake plant. And as you can see, there's a difference between variegated and non-variegated. Uh, variegated have like the yellow stripes and non-variegated do not. So this is just a pot of some variegated snake plant. And this is just a tiny little pot of some non-variegated snake plant. Um, also called mother-in-law's tongue, Sansevieria. Uh, this is a very popular houseplant, probably the most popular houseplant. They say you can't kill it. You can kill it, but it's, it's pretty hard, I, I would say, but it, it can be done. So keep that in mind. But yeah, that was my other snake plant. And this is the last plant to conclude my plants that are in my bedroom. Little show and tell. This is a beautiful peace lily and I love peace lilies, especially when they flower. Um, peace lilies get really large. This is a smaller one, but as you can see, it's thriving and doing very well my snake plant in my living room actually flowered too and that was really beautiful but um peace lilies do it a bit more commonly so yeah that was the last plant that i have to show you and thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions or concerns please let me know bye